What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Bad Gaming. It's always a favorite H and I see Mac Vel Dadon, and I am back today with another gameplay for y'all, man. Before we get started today, hey man, y'all niggas are going crazy, bro. I appreciate y'all, man. I, I thank you to all the new subscribers. Y'all have been coming in in droves, bro. I hope you guys enjoy the channel, man. There's a crap ton of content that y'all haven't gotten a chance to experience, so by all means, go ahead and check out the old shit if you want to. But hey, man, today we're playing this new shit, right? So today we're playing a game called Amanda the Adventurer. Now, I know a lot of you have probably heard of Amanda the Adventurer. I have as well. Uh, it was a games jam that has been out for a while. But here's the thing, man. They're turning it into an actual game. So the game we're playing today is Amanda the Adventurer, but the version in which we're playing is no longer the Game Jam version, but is actually the demo for the full game that they're playing, they're playing on creating. So I have no clue what to expect. I've seen the Game Jam versions before, uh, but I don't remember much of the story outside of this is a weird ass cartoon. So if you've never seen Amanda the Adventurer, or if you've seen all the Amanda the Adventurer, Today is a fresh day for everybody. Nobody has any clue. Well, I mean, except for those who've seen other people play it. But my assumption is, if you've never seen anybody else play it, then you have no clue what's going on in here, and neither do I. So, without further ado, let's get right at it now. All right, y'all, we are here. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we're in this, like, attic with our back to the window. How the hell do we get up here? Oh, I'm assuming this supposed to be the door to go downstairs. According to the description of this game, we're playing a woman named Riley Park. She got this house. Uh, she inherited this house from her aunt and she's going through the house in the basement or in the attic. She finds this setup and she's going to learn about Amanda the Adventure. So we are all here together. We are all on the same page. There's an oven. Can I set the timer? Oh man, you know, hey man, no, this is bullshit. This is this is not made for black people. No, go back around. We're at three fifty at, bro. Can I put can I put this food in here? Here, hold up. Let's uh, let's make a let's make a fruit pie. Open that up here. Look, just put put no, just put that in there, right? Close the door. We're gonna set that for ten minutes. 20 minutes. I guess so we get that deep, that deep crisp uh, flavor from our fruit. Shut the door. Why is it popped up? Why is the peach hold on for dear life? But the apple's like, nah, to hell with that. Put a strawberry in here instead. There you go. Perfect. But then it kick. It's 3.45 a.m. Oh, you can set the timer. Okay, each is control a number. So my assumption is these must be like puzzles, but my guess is that we can't solve them because I was just at the clock and the clock is settable. See, and then like, look, there's like a little Pasco thing right here. So my assumption is these don't see like the different types of puzzles or some shit that maybe we can encounter. That's my that's my guess, because like, look, there's even a piano here. Oh, let's see if we can play a song. Guess we want to do the city. Run with the top off. Man, my will so be when you win. All right, I'm done trolling. I'm done trolling. All right, let's 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 <laughs> let's get into the actual game, y'all. Let's hop on these tapes, bro. All right, first tape, ladies and gentlemen, Amanda, the adventurer, in the kitchen. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Wooly. I'm Amanda, and I'm Wooly. Obviously, I said I've seen these people. I knew what they were. Apple pie. Okay. My favorite is peach pie. That Today That's the A. Hey, hey, I was trying to make a pair of apple First, pie, bro. My nigga, apple. see, but I would have been able to feed my nigga Wooly if the microwave had worked. Used to cut the apples. If the microwave had worked, had the oven had worked. Uh, knife. 
Good job. We can use a sharp knife. Why is she holding it like that? Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. <laughs> Dead ass. It's good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate. <laughs> My man, put the knife that down. Doesn't seem safe. It's not safe. Okay, Willie. Let's cut the gap. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our All right, pie. so we got flour, butter, just need some apple. Sugar. Right, we need some sugar. Mm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is oh, my. The, pantry, the stop. refrigerator. Stop. I'm in a music drink. mood today. I don't know why. Uh, I'm sorry. What did y'all ask me? Something about some, something. about something. Great. Let's make a pie. Mm, I guess I put the location apple, of the sugar correctly cinnamon? without paying attention. Okay, it's time to bake a pie. Okay. First, preheat the oven to, to 375. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Okay. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Okay. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Okay. That oven behind us, I'm, I'm very curious if I do those things to that oven behind us if that happens. What's your favorite kind of pie? Uh, poon tank. No? Mm, that sounds delicious. Willie, it's missing some lettuce, but you get the crust of it. Damn, why'd I kick the tape out all sad like that, bro? I guess I'll put it back on the table. Uh, so, see? She said 425 and, and 425. I remember that. I think she said 40 minutes. And then we put the apple in the tin. Open the gimmick up. Put it inside. Boom. And it creates a tape. Okay, that's pretty swags. That's pretty swags. This must be tape too, so. All right. Now, mind you. Riley's watching these television shows in her house, and when she turned around, Hi, that little easy bake oven was behind her. I'm at a petting zoo. Uh, oh. <laughs> that doesn't seem safe. We don't have much time. Good job. I'm hope I'm hitting the TV. Oh, what? Yo, who keep busting through the floor? All right, ladies and gentlemen, for our second game of today, we were playing a game called Missing Hiker. Apparently, our brother has gone missing and we're on the search for him. So that's the premise behind this game. Without further ado, let's get right at it now. Oh my lord. Why is it going so fast? Guys, you see this? Like I'm not clicking anything. It's just happening. It's it's doing this on its own. Y'all saw that it did it all on its own. I didn't do anything. What the hell? I have no clue what's going on in this story now. So we're on the travel. We on the creep. Yeah, we on the creep. I'm checking my side mirrors, you know what I mean? Gotta be a proper driver. Yeah, it's late, but doesn't mean I can't check my mirrors. You know what I mean? Bro, this, driving on mouse and keyboard, I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about this before. Driving on mouse and keyboard to me is the weirdest thing. Like I can't, mentally can't resolve it. Like, yeah, I'm driving right now. Yeah, you see me kind of going straight, but like, as you see, I'm constantly feathering left and right or like, forward and back because it just feels unnatural to me to be driving with WASD. I should probably get this gas station to see if they saw my brother. So yeah, like I said, this is a game about finding your brother. I don't know why at the very beginning just sped through though. I wasn't hitting anything, so. Lo siento. Uh, what's going on y'all? Soft drinks, water, and juice. Y'all got any alcohol? I'm not saying it because I'm a drunk or nothing. I'm just saying it because I've been out here all night looking for my brother and it's Super Bowl Sunday and I really should be should be at home chilling drinking cervezas. What's going on big dog? What do you want? 
Well, first off, hello to you too. My name is Machiavelli Dadon. I'm the proprietor of this here uh, vehicle outside and this platform that you currently speak to me on. So now that we've addressed each other, who the fuck are you, pinheaded ass nigga? Who you calling pinhead? I'm searching for my brother. He went missing while hiking in this area. Sorry to offend you, pal, but that's not my problem. You shouldn't just randomly approach people like on site. You hear me? People like that, that's on site, bro. I just told you I lost my brother. I lost my brother. You hit me with, you shouldn't come to people like that just out of nowhere, just all willy nilly. Especially in this area. What do you mean? Hey, look, man, I worked pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. So would I. I would also like to find my brother. So if you can't be helpful, get the fuck out of my face, bro. I understand. Sorry for but. What can I do for you, sir? What is this on his face, bro? Look, he just breathed shit on it. I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? Tell me, have you seen him? <laughs> Told you I was on the music tip today. I apologize. Uh, how's your brother look like? He has brown hair and it's pretty tall. He also has a green backpack. That's the least description you could ever give somebody. Let me think for a second. Hmm. Yes, I think I saw your brother. He came in here and bought a few things, some water and a few snacks. You're trying to find them. Have you told the police already? Yes, I did. In fact, but they said they don't have the resources for a search right now. They say they only start a search if the person has been missing for more than 48 hours. If it isn't the first time someone went missing in this area, at least a handful of people went missing in uh, there in the last decade. Damn. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that there are strange screams and weird noises coming from the woods. So you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on it. There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Thanks. I'll make sure to t stay safe. Take care. Now you stay safe, bro. You wait that 48 hours. You have call the cops back. You say, hey, cops, it's been over 48 hours. Come, come, come save my brother. So if you couldn't tell, this is also a horror game. So we know that in horror games, when it comes to woods, we are technically on this channel. I think a ne negative when it comes to woods. We've escaped some, but I'm pretty sure we've gotten gotten killed a lot here, too. Woods are not our our uh, our friends on this channel, man. We can try to make it today. Hey, hey, Woods, you know, I know we've had a bad experience before, but maybe this time we can work together so that I can go home to my family as well. I know you might have eaten my brother and I understand that he might have been tasty, but I'm not him. I'm short and pudgy. You wouldn't like that. I'm not walking through the woods and not scanning my left and right. Like, see, that's something important right there. My brother's tip looks entirely entirely different. I should take a look. Didn't they say don't diverge off the path? All right, so the path is right there. Just putting that out there. Check the tent and then get your ass back on the road. Bro, you good? Bro, you good? Oh my God. I scared you. Almost had a heart attack myself. Dead ass. What do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep. I'm not. I'm searching for my brother, which apparently this is not him. Hey, ain't you the brother, the weird ass thing I just saw in the, uh, in the motherfucking store? Have you seen him? Nope, I haven't seen him. Wait, you don't even know what he looks like. Look, man, I'm just some guy that likes to hike in the woods and sleep in a tent in the freezing, in freezing conditions. I haven't seen anyone in days. I understand. You're planning to go deeper into the forest? I hope not. <sighs> Look, you'll probably think I'm a stoner or something. I didn't read my last sentence because I asinine, asinine. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't keep going. Last night I had my tent a bit up north, and I heard weird noises coming from the woods. It sounded like a child was crying, but I didn't see anything. It creeped me out. Maybe it was a cryptid. A what? Look, man, do you carry? No. What do you mean carry? I'm talking about a piece, you know, something to, for protection. No, I do not. 
then you shouldn't be here in the first place. It's way too dangerous to go deeper in the forest at night. I hear you. I'm not going to stop you. I just want to sleep now. Oh, one last thing. Don't creep up on the tip of the woods at night ever again. Dead ass. I almost would have shot you. Well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Me too. Good luck with the search. Appreciate you, man. You've been a lot more helpful than my than the other nigga who looks just like you. I appreciate you, man. I'm going to just shake your hand. Appreciate you, big dog. You have a wonderful night. I apologize for waking you up. You, you be easy now, all right? Now, listen, I don't have siblings, so I can't relate to this. I didn't even have cousins I was close to, so I can't relate to this. What I will tell you is I have friends that I deem I'm close to. And I told them, if you ever do some stupid shit like this, bro, if you die trying to find me, it's your fault. Because I would want you to protect you because obviously I didn't do a good job. I didn't do a good job protecting me. So what happened to me should happen to you just because. I mean, see, as I'm talking shit, bro, I haven't been panning. That's on me. That's on me. I hear you. I hear you. It's getting really cold. I should set up my tent on the left side of the road. Nigga, you carried a tent up here? Why did you carry a tent up here? You was going to rest and hang out? What is happening? Bro, what is happening, bro? What is happening, bro? Why do I have a tent? My fingers are pretty numb. It's hard to build the tent. I really smooth bought a tent. Bruh. Now you tell me, with everything that you've seen in this gameplay so far, would you get in that tent? No, neither would I. If that's what you want to do. I'm here. It's cold, but I'm falling asleep slowly. All right, so when this, so when he gets woken up by jump scare, I'm, I'm going to be here chilling. I'm going to just drink some water. I talked a lot. You know, and I know, it's the guy that we left earlier at his tent probably murdered. Y'all know, y'all know that. And this nigga's still getting out of his tent, bro. This is some bullshit. No. No. Do y'all see the light out there? That's where they want us to go, bro. Off the beaten path into the woods down that way. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to go die. All right. So let's just here. As I've always said, bro, put your hands on my shoulders, bro. We're going to go together, bro. Shoulders are too brolic to not carry the fam. You know what I mean? So we're going, we're going, y'all going to be with me. I'm going to be with y'all. I know y'all see my light stagnant, but my eyes are scanning the whole map, bro. I got, you know, I got my 2020 vision when it comes to the bullshit, bro. I see it clearly. Do you see this light, bro? It's like a little mini camp with fences and shit. Why the hell would I run in this direction, bro? I heard a scream and go to sleep. Wait till morning and deal with it. Or get go back to your car and now my flashlight acting up. Now my flashlight acting up, bro. Stop, bro. What did I say earlier? Oh yeah, this is some bullshit. That back's completely empty. Nothing in here. <sighs> All right, Joe. I I don't know, man. Like I don't watch horror movies, and I always tell my friends like I I can't. It's not that like horror movies are uber scary or like I can't stand them. I just get frustrated with stupidity. I get frustrated when things legitimately make no sense. You searching for your brother makes all the sense in the world. You searching for your brother in this bullshit makes no sense. So whatever happens next is bad, but it's for story progression. But logically speaking, I would never step inside here. It's dark as a bitch in here, bro. If there's not a light facing it, it is dark as a bitch. Watch. All right. Look at that antler right there, right? If I turn, it's gone. Like, no, nigga. Guys, I don't want to be in here. It, this is a, there's a fucking hatchet and a hook and gasoline. What the f nigga, nigga. Get out, get out, nigga. Get out, nigga. Get out, nigga. Get out. That's a chop house. Not a trap house, ladies and gentlemen. A chop house. It's where they chop your limbs, your legs off. Uh, they take your kidney out. They put that shit on the black market. Um, they sell it for like two uh, Doritos Locos Tacos. Uh, maybe I guess they want us to open up this right here. And my assumption is we open up this cabinet right here and our brother's in the, in that bitch. All right. So let's go check. Let's go check. Nope. 
Can I not open the cabinet? Guys? What am I supposed to find in here exactly? Because I feel like I'm supposed to find something. Oh, these photos. Hey, my tent, my car. Y'all hear the, you hear the snow crushing, right? Y'all heard the snow crushing, right? I turn, I turned it up. Yo, I know y'all heard it, bro. I know y'all heard the snow crushing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Missing Hiker. Our second gameplay of today and our last gameplay of today. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing two horror games, both of which are supposed to turn into full games. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out on both of them and man and monitoring and making sure that they come out, bro. And when the full versions of both of these come out, best believe we gonna be playing them jokes on the channel. So as of today, I thank y'all for stopping by, bro. Thank y'all for subbing to the channel. If you're new, if you, this is your first time seeing a bad gaming video, or if you've seen one before, I love y'all. I thank y'all, and I will see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.